Hey Chuck here back with Milton Daily Homes and today's list is interesting to say the least so stay tuned I'll show you what I mean and so the first one up is 653 Spire Circle and when we look at it it's a Springdale or Spring Valley is the old name 1357 square feet and so you've got this open room and then you've got the kitchen with a little breakfast bar and there's a bathroom just over here. So it's a really nice layout. I mean, typically what we see is the dining room goes here, and then you've got more of a family room on this side. You can see the cable coming down. Um, the uh, the kitchen there looks nice. There's the main floor, and so you can actually use this. That's the entrance to the mechanicals and the garage door. Um, people can use this as a sitting area, a little office. There's lots of uses for it. Sometimes it ends up being a bit of a man cave where you can go and watch football. Um, and there you go, and you're overlooking the park. So when you look at this one, and it's the two-bedroom, two-washroom version, so the rooms are, are nice and big upstairs. Uh, there's the washroom. This is listed at $289.9. The last one just sold, and it's a slightly different layout upstairs, for three oh five. So what are these guys doing? It's absolutely insane to me why they think they should list at like 2008 prices. Um, I don't know. I wish them luck. I think they're kind of screwing everything up. They're going to get action. They're probably going to sell this for more than asking if they play their cards right. So anyhow, the uh, they deserve to sell for more. So hopefully their agent didn't cost them a lot of money. 620 Frank places at 314.9. And so it's an Oxford, a sumac corner um, built by Mad Me. And so you've got similar size to the previous one too, which is again, very interesting, about 1350, something like that. And the photos are horrible. They're really bad resolution. Maybe the virtual tour has, uh, has some better uh, res shots, but basically backsplash, Nice kitchen here. This one's laid out so the family room's in the back. This is just off the kitchen there. And then you've got um, you've got two bedrooms upstairs and then one, um, when they say two plus one, it's actually, there's a den on the main level which works really well for a home office. Uh, even a treadmill down there works really well. So, and they've got two full bathrooms upstairs. This one I think is much more in line with uh, with what you'd expect them to sell for. I'd expect these guys to get probably within a few thousand dollars of that price. Um, had some good recent sales on that particular model. So Charlton Way is at three thirty nine nine. It's a semi detached three bedroom, three washroom, which means two full upstairs plus the powder room, and basically no finished basement here. At least fifteen hundred square feet. And I would think if this one shows well at all, if it's not completely destroyed, it's a good deal. You know, for a semi at that size at this price, very very good. So definitely. Uh, Wait for the photos, or you may even want to go see it before the photos come out, because that's the speed things are moving at. Uh, Heslop is at 359, and it's an old bungalow in, in Melton, and it's in a good area. And so you've got the old wood doors. Um, 60 by 120 foot lot. Yeah, the kitchen needs work. Yeah, it's a little small. But that's what you're uh, getting in the price range. So I think ultimately this one has a lot to offer. It says five bedrooms. I'm imagining three upstairs, probably two down in the basement. And you've got a detached single car garage right here too. So the lot size, if you went in and renovated this one, I think there's upside here. And I think at 359, it's probably going to sell pretty fast. I think there's a lot of value there. Chandler Crescent, 3849. Um, about 18, 1900 square feet. Somebody in this neighborhood likes satellite dishes a lot. Um, I think that even comparing to what you get from the builder, get some hardwood floors here, I think this represents uh, good value. And actually they, they mentioned that here too. 377 is what the builder sells the basic model for. And you get it right away. And you don't have to hassle with all the new construction stuff, cooking up your Hydro, hooking up your gas, all those extra costs, levies, those kind of things you don't need to worry about with this one here too. Although you probably have to pay for your fencing. Looks like there's air conditioning and you probably have to pay for window coverings and appliances. But we don't have photos, so we can't tell. Okay, so next one up is Wise Crossing 399. This is the biggest semi that Mad Me makes. It's 1987 square feet. It's called a Southbury. And inside, I mean, these models have sold in the 390s 
I mean, it's possible. This one doesn't look like it's bringing the heat, or if it is really good inside, the photos aren't representing it properly. Yeah, you got hardwood floors in the family room, not in the dining room. And there's your front little room right here. Um, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything that makes it worth $3.99. But anyways, they've got a lookout basement. So they've got a couple big windows there. Second floor laundry. It's a great layout. But I just don't think they've uh, they've got the goods to compete at that level. Um, McNeil's at $4.49. And it's a smaller home. It's only a three-bedroom. It does have the double-car garage. And it looks like there's a bit of an opening um, above the living room. So essentially, you've got the L shape. You've got the living room, kitchen, and then you've got a family room just off to the side in an L shape. And there it is. So the kitchen, you've got the moldings up top. You've got a couple pot lights over the sink, which is good for working. you got a movable island. you got a, a range here. So there's lots of nice features. The family room is not big. I mean, you look two couches there, and you really don't have a lot of space about the the width of the fireplace plus a bit more. Built-in entertainment unit here too, which can sometimes, with the flat screens now, it can sometimes be a little harder to position your TV, but it's easy to drywall over this stuff if it's not good for you. And there's the master, big master it looks like, and then you've got the two other bedrooms, two bathrooms upstairs. So at $449, I think they priced it bang on. I think they put it right in a place where uh, where it should be. And you're going to see next week, we're going to list a home right in this range. And I'm going to talk about why the price you choose at this particular range is very, very important. And I think that we did a better job of pricing, not to toot our own horn, but there's, there's a very um, important consideration when you're talking about pricing. So anyhow, I've talked about it before, but I'll talk about it again next week. 154 Kendall is the next one. It's at 525. And, uh, and so it's a 43 foot lot. It's a, um, it's one of the Heathwood homes, and you've got some, it looks like a laminate or hardwood floor. The kitchen, I don't know if that really does the kitchen justice. I mean, it looks like you've got granite counters, dark cabinets, but it's the angle, it's the way the light hits. It just doesn't really do it justice. And I'm wondering what this is here too. It looks like there's a wall here that covers half of the fridge. I'm not really sure. Oh, that could be just for the island. Then there's a little walkthrough area. Sorry, it just looks a little... That's what I mean. It's not doing a great job of showing this kitchen. And you've got the eat-in area there. And then you've got the uh, the big open concept family room. And very sort of traditional Heathwood style. You've got that nice sort of coffered ceiling in the master. And... I guess that's showing kind of a side backyard kind of thing. So anyhow, virtual tours there. I But basically it just shows the same pictures. It's not really a very good virtual tour. Um, I think this could probably be represented better because I have a feeling that this one ha is going to look a lot better than the photos in person. Okay, so Quinlan Court's the next one. And I talk about the real estate kiss of death a lot. And here's what it is. These guys were listed at 619 for the last three months, okay, with a with a good agent, okay, and, and they couldn't sell it, they had nice photos. Um, then they go and list at 639, and, and it's very interesting to me because what makes them think that all of a sudden their home is worth 20,000 more? Uh, yes, they went through a slow period through Christmas, but I just don't see it, and I don't know how these guys are going to overcome that objection. How come at 619 you couldn't sell and you want 639? I've seen the home. It's actually pretty nice. There's some inlay on the floor, which is a little bit, I don't know if everyone would love it, but it's hardwood everywhere. The kitchen's pretty decent. There's walkout stairs from the basement, so you could actually set up a separate living area down there. And uh, yeah, California shutters, they've, they've, they've put the money in just simply because of how they've strategized, I don't think they're going to get the price that they're asking right now. Now, Bell School Line is $7.25. When you actually look at where it is on Bell School Line, when you do Google Maps, it's right here. But it says it backs onto the airport, which is right down here. So I'm I'm guessing, I mean, I assume the description is the right one. Google Maps isn't always right, but it says it's a six-bedroom, two-washroom home, 160 by 275-foot lot, electric baseboard heat. We talked about that earlier this week, how it can really raise the cost of heating your home if you're not careful. And it is a pretty big home. We're talking in, a, in excess of 2,500 square feet. In-ground pool, you've got a triple-car garage. 
uh, finished basement. There's a lot of stuff with this home. Um, so you can expect a, a really big home here. And I think at 725, it's either in really shoddy condition or the location uh, being that close to the airport is probably hurting them quite a bit. So you have to go check it out. You have to find more information. Maybe there's some photos, but that is our list today. So have yourself a fantastic weekend. And we're, we're going to be back on Monday with another episode of Milton Daily Homes. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.